some sun today, but we also dealt with some snow showers. Those still becoming a, a part of the forecast over the next hour or so, but coming to a close through the overnight. We will keep falling back through the 20s at 28 degrees right now in the city with a northeast breeze at 3 miles per hour. Not much of a wind chill factor for tonight. The wind has died down, and that's what's also causing our snow to kind of shut itself down for the rest of this evening. 25 right now in Utica or Dodgeville. We're at 29 in Cooperstown, 27 in Lake Pleasant. We had some more widespread light snow, but it is really coming to a close over the next hour or two, leaving us under partly cloudy skies through tonight. Maybe an isolated snow shower at the most. But heading into Thursday and Friday is where we're going to see some more changes that bring us back to winter like weather after we get to more spring like territory for tomorrow. It's all thanks to a shift in wind direction. It's all thanks to some extra sun for tomorrow, too, leaving us under mainly clear skies for tonight. And that really sets the stage for almost full out sun through your Wednesday morning. Really just a few passing clouds. Very pleasant, very quiet through tomorrow afternoon, which will get us into the upper 40s. Not too bad for this time of year. But heading into Thursday is where we will see some changes. This is going to start out as a chance of snow to start as temperatures are below freezing in the morning. As temperatures go up above freezing in the afternoon, we're going to switch that over to a rain shower chance. But I think the heaviest stuff stays to our east. That still brings the chance of rain showers into our area through Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. But then we see some more cold air work in on the back side of that. That's going to bring it back to snow chances. And then we have more rain chances as we get slightly above freezing for Friday afternoon. So a little messy for Thursday and Friday before a quieter weekend. Unfortunately, we're not going to be making a run at 60 degrees anytime soon, at least in the next week or so. We'll drop back to 20 degrees for tonight. A stray snow shower, not out of the question. But for the most part, that's wrapped up and it leaves us with a much quieter Wednesday. That's going to take us into the upper 40s for tomorrow, a breeze out of the southwest, and that's really key in bringing our temperatures up for tomorrow. But by Thursday, this is where we see some changes. That's the storm system that's going to bring us rain showers for Thursday afternoon as we get into the lower 40s, but our overnight low temperatures stay in the 20s. Upper 30s to round out the work week on Friday, and that again will be brought with rain showers in the afternoon as we get in the upper 30s, and then snow shower chances overnight as we drop back into the 20s. By Saturday and Sunday, Sunday, we're a lot quieter. 34 degrees the high temperature on Saturday, partly cloudy skies, and we're into the upper 40s for your Sunday. Not too bad before our next storm system brings up our rain and snow chance again on Monday. Angie? Rain.